Hey everyone, it's Average Joe PC, and today we're going to get your PC booting directly into Steam. And I mean directly into Steam. We're not going to be waiting around for Steam to start up while looking at the desktop. No, we're skipping it entirely. And we're going to do this by adding something to... The Registry! But don't fret, it's not too crazy, and I'll be with you the whole time. And don't worry, by the end of this video, you will still be able to go back to Windows Desktop if you need to. Much like a Steam Deck. I should also say that taking backups of your system is always a good idea. Now, messing with the registry also comes with its own set of risks, so continue at your own peril. So we're going to start with our way of getting back to Windows, because the last thing we need is to get this done and not have an easy way to get back to the desktop ready to go. So on Windows 10, the explorer.exe location is C drive, Windows, explorer.exe. We're going to create a shortcut for this on the desktop. After that, we're going to go to Steam and add a non-Steam game, and navigate to the shortcut we just made and add it to Steam. Now once it's in there, we're going to navigate to it and select it. Go to the gear icon, properties, and I'm going to rename mine to One Windows, so I know it's Windows, and the One, so it comes up to the top of the list. Make sure that the root is correct, and if it is, we're done with this step. Now we're going to select Steam Settings from the top menu. Go to the Interface tab, and check boxes for Start Steam when my computer starts, and Start Steam in Big Picture mode. Click OK, and exit Steam. Now comes the fun part. Hit the Windows key plus R at the same time to bring up the Run dialog box and type RegEdit and click OK. You are now in the registry. Now navigate to H key Current User, expand that, and then find Software, expand that, find Microsoft, expand again, Windows NT, current version, then win logon. Right click in the folder pane on the right and select new string value. Name it shell and select modify. Now type in the path to Steam. Best practice is to navigate to the steam.exe and copy as path. Or if you have a shortcut on your desktop, you can get the target path from its properties. There you have it. All we have to do is make sure that we're set up to auto log in and we're off to the races. Now let's see about making sure we can auto log in. Hit Windows R for the run dialog box again and type in netplwiz and hit enter. And in the window that comes up, uncheck the box in front of users must enter username and password to use this computer and then click OK. Now I don't have to do this because I don't have a password set but type in your password when it prompts you to, and then restart your system, and cross your fingers, because hopefully it boots right into Steam. Now I haven't had this issue, but if you only get a black screen and a cursor, press Control alt delete and select Task Manager. Then go to File, New Task, and type Explore.exe. And that will bring you back to your desktop, and at that point you can go back and delete the regedit for the shell, and leave it deleted, or try it again. It's up to you how determined you want to be, but I'm confident you'll get it right the first time. So if all goes to plan, your PC just booted directly to the Steam interface. But wait, I need to go back to Windows to change a setting or download a non-Steam game. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Remember that Windows game we created? Well, we're going to use that to get back to Windows. First thing to do is go to Steam's power settings and exit big picture mode. Now you just see your Steam window in vast darkness, but all is not lost. Navigate with your mouse to the Windows game we created and click on play. We are now back to Windows Desktop and can do whatever we need to, and when we reboot, it will boot back to Steam. If this video was helpful, give it a like and hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. If there's a video you'd like to see, leave a request in the comments and I'll do my best to get to it.
And if you want to support the channel, check out the merch link in the description box.